Why does part of your butt? No! It's pronounced Leela! Uh, this week I'm very busy with work and NaNoWriMo and a show! Nerdlesque villains and so I have to make my costume for that and make a video. I thought why not kill two birds with one stone? Make a video about how to make tearaway stripper pants. This is by no means a definitive guide on how to make stripper pants, this is just how I make my stripper pants. So yes! The first thing you are going to need is a pair of pants. Mine are black pants that I picked up from the local op shop for like six bucks. The next thing you want to do is remove the hem up the side of the leg of the pants and pick all the stitches or you can just chop straight up the side of the leg all the way from the ankle to the very very top. Don't forget to take out any little tags or labels. It's just a nice professional look to have none of those. The next thing you want to do is go back and hem the edges of the pants that you've just cut so they are nice and neat and not scraggly and funny looking. To hem them is really simple. All you want to do is fold these edges over and pin them down and then sew them with a sewing machine. Once your hems are all done and dusted, the next thing you are going to need are your poppers. The things that actually attach the sides of your pants together. There are a few different ways you can do this. You can use Velcro, which is great for a really quick tear, easy to apply, but it does make a loud noise. So if you're going to be doing this in a room where you don't want people to hear the whoosh as you rip your pants off, you may want to go with something like little plastic dome poppers. These are good for if you want to do a bit by bit pop where you can go what two and three which looks awesome when it's done in time to a beat. Now the problem with these is that they are individuals so you do need to stitch them on individually. You could also use little velcro dots like these. It's all up to you really. The next thing to think about is the placement of your poppers. If you do just a strip of velcro you can go all the way from the top down to the bottom in one long run but if you are doing individual pieces then you need to think about structurally on the pants where the tension points are because if you don't have anything holding them you're going to get big gaping holes and everyone's going to be able to see everything before the reveal. Also it's possible that the pants will come undone because there's nothing to support where the strain is. Ideally you'll want one fairly close to the top to hold them together, two around the hip area because there's a lot of strain where your butt is, and the rest evenly spaced between your upper thigh and wherever the bottom of your tearaway pants are. There may be a little bit of trial and error at first where you find out how far away you can space your things without having any skin showing through, but you'll figure it out. As for which side of the fabric to put them on, on the front part of your leg, put them on the inside of the fabric. On the back half, you're going to put them on the outside. They seal together like that and then you just rip them off. Oh, it's one whole day later and we're in a new change of clothes and whoa! The finished product is finally ready. Do you want to see? Yes! Yeah! You can see some little bits of stuff on the side just because they're stretch fabric and so they were never going to be perfect. But these are what I have. So in the end I went with the poppers over the velcro. The velcro was just difficult to attach and was going to be too difficult to remove easily. Just didn't look as nice, so I went with the poppers. Hopefully, let's find out. Huh! Oh, I got some caught on my calves. Do you like my giraffe boxes? Ripping the giraffe, love. On each leg, I've used one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm currently also working on a cape and a Death Eater mask. If you would like to know how either of those go, let me know and I will show you those. Slytherins up in the place with the things. Goodbye.